Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Synth Anatomy video. Today I want to give you an overview, sound demo and review of the new Mood Synthesizer by Apesoft. For this new release, Alessandro from Apesoft worked together with Eugenio Giordani, who had the idea to make a reinterpretation of the classic analog synthesizers from the 70s. Mood doesn't try to emulate one specific synth from the past, but to be a synth with the same philosophy of sound, but with more modern features. The oscillator section of Mood includes three oscillators. Oscillator 1 and 2 includes triangle, peak triangle, ascending saw 2, square, asymmetric square 1 with more pulse width modulation and asymmetric square 2 with less pulse width modulation. Unlike oscillator 1 and 2, oscillator 2 doesn't feature the ascending saw 2 but the descending saw 2. The frequency range of each oscillator is controlled by a 6 position selector from sub low to 32. 32 is here 2 octave below 8. Then you have a poly and mono switch. In the mono mode you can play the synth in non legato or legato mode. In poly mode mood can work with up to 16 voices. In the oscillator section you can find also a sync switch for hard syncing oscillator 2 from oscillator 1. Further you have the slope feature which is best known from the Dave Smith synthesizers. It gives some pitch incuracy that was known as unstable frequencies in vintage analog synths. In the mixer section you have the volume control for each oscillator and on the right side you have one of these features that settle down mood from classic emulations, the warp feature, which is a sampler and live input source. The volume of the warp is controlled by one knob in the mixer and with one button you can turn on off the module. To get access to the submenu just press the warp icon. You can route audio inside the warp module via audio files, via the microphone, the line in or audio bus in the app audio. The goal of the warp module is to freeze the sound in a certain point and tune it according to the oscillator frequencies. The warp module includes four real time controls. Phase or phase index allows to set the position of the cursor inside a select sample. Speed is the speed of the sample reading. Tune is for the sample tuning and jitter enables that the phase move randomly. Last but not least you have a button for resetting the scanning to the start position and a button where the scanning point jump to the start position for each node. Beside the virtual analog engine and the sampler engine Mood includes also a basic FM generator. This FM menu includes all the best known knobs for adjusting the FM synthesis, including independent envelopes for the amp and index. On top, Mood has a noise generator with also a noise envelope. Looking at the complete oscillator section, I must admit that this engine is big and gives you a lot of sound design options, only with oscillators. For example, you can only use the FM and sampler engine and ignoring the virtual analog part. Also with these two engine parts you can design a lot of interesting sounds. Further we have on the top right the filter, which is a resonant 24dB octave low pass filter. The filter and settings are very classical oriented and include the knob for the cutoff, resonance and envelope amount. Then you have an ADSR envelope for the filter with dedicated knobs. Under the filter envelope you have also a classical M envelope, also with knobs for attack, decay, sustain and release. 
On the left side of the interface you have the menu for control and tracking. Main level is for the main output of the synthesizer. Pitch trim is the master pitch. The icon in the middle allows to reset the master pitch. In a mod mix you can create a mix of modulating signals from oscillator 3 and a noise generator. Then you have also a portamento glide knob which has a range from fast to slow. Further you have 8 different buttons with different features. Oscillator 1, 2. When oscillator 1, 2 is activated, then oscillator 3 modulates oscillator 1 and 2. When filter is on, then oscillator 3 modulates the filter. When keyboard oscillator 2 is on, then the keyboard controls the pitch of oscillator 2. When keyboard oscillator 3 is on, then the keyboard controls the pitch of oscillator 3. When third plus 8 is on, then we have a light tracking of the cutoff. When fifth 8 is on, we have a higher tracking of the cutoff. When port is on, then the glide is activated. Release. This detain the release stage of the M envelope. If you check the first page of the synth, some users will say, hey, this synth has the same setup as a Minimoog. That's right, but the mood go further and gives some modern sound design features than a classic Minimoog. Switching to the second page of the mood synthesizer, beside the effect section, mood includes also an extend LFO. The X LFO includes five different parameters, modulation depth, modulation rate with different time divisions, Delay adds a time delay before the X LFO from short to long. Attack, here you can change how the modulation starts. Wave, here you can select one of the waveforms of the X LFO. You can assign it to the oscillator 1, oscillator 2, oscillator 3 and also the filter cutoff or all together. <laughs> Also in the wave section you can find the ARP and sequencer feature of the mood synthesizer or how the developer it calls the step function. It's not a pure ARP but it's very close. By pressing ARP edit you get access to the ARP sequencer where you can find multiple settings for adjusting this. Back on the second page of the mood synthesizer you can find four different high quality effects. A stereo delay, a ring modulator with different waveforms, a distortion effect with positive and negative shaping possibilities and a reverb with a vintage and modern touch. Back on the first page you can also change the length of the keyboard with the plus and minus buttons. In the menu page you can find as usual all the best known features from the other Apesoft apps different skins, full MIDI support, the sample folder, additional LFOs for modulating the parameters,
also here you can change the keyboard mode from classic to elongate to a very cool ribbon controller. When you select the ribbon controller, it uses only the mono engine. Also the mention mood comes with audio bus, interb audio and iOS audio unit support. When you open it in a host application, you get this quite simple designed interface with individual sound menus. The preset manager, the sample manager where you can find your samples and also the possibilities to use the LFOs for additional modulation. things considered, I have to say a lot of positive things about this new release and some very minor points which can be improved in future. Positive to see is the high quality audio engine of this synth. It produces rich and fat sounds without big efforts. Also the interface is excellent designed and easy to use. Don't forget if you don't like the green design you can change the color of the interface in the settings. The additional FM and sample engine gives a lot of sound design options. I really love the combination of the traditional thinking of an analog synth, but combining it with cool modern features. Also favorable to see is the XLFO, 
which can create some complex modulations. Also the four high quality effects provide a big sound playground. On the improvement side I would like to see a bit more love for the interface for the iOS audio unit. This one needs in my opinion a bit more graphics because it looks a bit unfinished. Also I would be happy to see a switch on the first page for the app where you can activate and deactivate it without going to page number 2. Also I would love to see more possibilities to make FM with all our parameters like the filter. That gives even more great sounds in my opinion. In summary the new Apesoft mood synthesizer is a great sounding new iOS instrument. When you ask me how I would describe the mood, I would say it's a Minimoog emulation on steroids because it has far more interesting sound design options than the real one, but comes with the same sound approach than the original one. As you can see in my review it's hard to say something negative about this synth because it's near perfect in every point. If you search a fat sounding virtual analog synth with a classical approach but with a lot of interesting modern features then check out Mood, it's a must have. Please let me know what you think about the Mood synthesizer by Apesoft. I want to hear your opinion and maybe we can discuss a bit about it. Don't forget to ask your questions so I will try to answer them as soon as possible for you. A link to this amazing new app is also in the video description. And if you use it, you support my channel and my work on my blog. And as usual, if you like this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and for your continued support for my work. I hope to see you again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!